Alright, so today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Office's Visio. Uh, it's a diagramming software. Uh, it's used to create diagrams, pictures, um, simple things like that. So, first off, we're going to start by opening up Visio. Now, the first thing you're going to be starting off with is choosing your drawing type or getting started. Uh, getting started just uses an old file that you've saved before. So, I have drawing one saved. But for this purpose, we're going to create an all new drawing. So here you can choose your category. Being in the IT business, you're most likely going to do networking, web diagramming, software, or flowcharts, databases, things like that. Uh, you can see each one comes with a different template, different shapes that will be added to your shape toolbar, which we'll get to later, uh, that you can use in order to draw. So today we're just going to do a simple networking template in the metric system. So this is what you start off looking at. You start off looking at shapes and your workplace. This is your shape toolbar. Here's just a list of all the different shapes that you have available to you when you're drawing. So you can have domains, different shapes, things like that. So start off we're going to do a really simple just server user diagram. So we'll start off, we'll have a server, we'll have a computer, we'll have another computer, we'll have a user, and another user. Now you notice how small it is really no good for working with. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go view, uh, pan and zoom window. Here you can zoom in on there. You can also use the magnifying glasses, zoom in, zoom out. You can change your looking reference by clicking and just moving around your mouse over top of the red square. Um, another way of doing this is to just go into Zoom. And just like Microsoft Word, you can choose it from here. So we're just going to leave it at that because it's a good range. Second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show a connection between the computers, the servers, and the users. Uh, this is really easy. This can be done just by going up here, going clicking on the connector tool, clicking connector tool, and just finding the little X's on each of these shapes, just clicking, dragging, moving it to the next shape you want to connect it to, just really simple stuff, just do that. So now we have a really basic diagram. Um, another thing that you are able to do is modify the shape. So if we want you know, the server to be a bit bigger, we can stretch it, we can pull it, and modify it that way. Also, we can go into right-click it, go into Shapes, you can rotate left, rotate right, flip vertical, flip horizontal. So we're going to leave that on about that size, it's a good size, keeps everything nice and straight, nice and tidy. Um, another thing that we're able to do is use the pointer tool. There's a few things in here. The area select tool is the default, but you can also use the lasso select. Now the way the lasso select works is you can just simply draw around all the shapes that you want selected, just like this, doesn't have to be neat and tidy, and you've got them all selected, you can move them around, move them down, move them up. Really simple. Another thing is the multiple select. Now another way of doing this is just by holding down control and clicking everything while you're still holding down control on your keyboard. Uh, but this basically just allows you the freedom to just click everything you want to move. Move it up, move it down, just like that. So we're going to move that back to area select. So You still got to unclick it. Now the text tool. Text tool you can use to change the names of everything. So instead of user, we're going to do Bob. Instead of server we're going to do Durham College and as a title we are going to use let's say room C214 or rather C224 because we all love that room so that's pretty much the basics of creating just a diagram now here you can see a few other things that we can do. We can, as well as, just like in Excel, we can add pages. So we can go into Insert Page. There's Type, Background, Foreground. Uh, the name, 
the background if you wanted to add a picture or just a simple diagram into the background which we won't get into it's a little bit more advanced and the measurement units millimeters centimeters this everything so we're just gonna keep the millimeters and we're gonna hit we're gonna keep the name just standard page 2 I'm gonna hit OK gives us a new page so we can create a new diagram we can add you know a few servers a group you know something really really simple uh, I'm gonna turn off the text tool so that I can move stuff around alright so these are the two pages you can also rename these pages so instead of page 2 we're gonna do room SW214 um, as well as we can also we're just gonna insert another page for the next part uh, reordering the pages you may find yourself that you want to reorder the pages to be better for your suits better for your needs so we're gonna leave turn off update page names and just move you know page three up you know south wing 214 move up click OK everything is rearranged now when you turn on update page names it just changes that default page name to whatever the new location is so as you can see the way it would be if this was checked off is it would be room south wing 214 page 3 page 1 but since they are default they change into page 2 and page 3 they don't keep it next step is just deleting a page you have a blank page you don't need just right click delete it's gone you're not getting it back Another thing that you are capable of doing as well is when you're saving it, uh, Visio is very good with saving. Um, it's a pretty simple program, which means a lot of people can use it rather than using higher price um, programs such as AutoCAD, which costs a few thousand dollars to acquire. Um, so to do this, we can. Why is that relation? Well, when you go to file, you go to save as. We can save it as Durham. Now we can also choose to do save it as either a stencil or a template for later later use for other drawings. We can even save it as an XML, um, as well as AutoCAD drawings. So, if you know anybody with AutoCAD, you can save it in AutoCAD. They can open it up. They can look at it as well as all Windows things it can open and save in HTML as well as another neat thing that Visio will do is save it as a GIF, a JPEG, a PNG or even a bitmap so we're just going to save it as a drawing so we can open it up later now as you're getting more into it you may find that your lines are intersecting crossing so you may want to even just simply click on the line you know add we'll change it to red so now the lines are red so you can distinguish between the two one of the downsides to this is that to this program though is that you cannot get different shapes into the same thing in order to do that I would have to open up a new file file new I choose this time I'm gonna choose flowchart we're going to go into the metrics. So we're going to go like decision here. Now you notice that our other one went away. So we'll just simply, it's within itself. So we have different drawings that we can look up. So we're going to go back to our germ drawing. And that way we still have drawing three. We still look at that. We can still save it. We can still move it around. Um, as well as once we finalized everything, we know that not everybody has Visio. Visio not very many people know how to use to begin with so if you have Adobe installed you can convert it to Adobe PDF for the ease of use alright so that's pretty much everything it's easy to use really simple stuff if you know your Microsoft you know your 2003 
you're aware you you're used to it you're used to that whole format of doing everything it's really easy simple to get into and you just go at it it's all good and that's pretty much everything with Visio. that's really simple you can do a few more advanced things but we'll get around to that later alright see ya